Yo, what's happening? You already know who it is. John Zell in the building, man. A lot of y'all, y'all been supporting your boy with the videos and everything, but I want to support you this time. I want to help you set up a studio for the first time. Now, I'm not sure if you already have a studio. That's cool. But if you've just been sitting on a couch watching your boy, it's about time for you to get your butt up and go get you your own studio. All right, now look. Straight up, I know we're living in a pandemic right now. There's plenty of places out there where you can get your home recording studio locally. I'm not sure if you guys heard about OfferUp, Craigslist, if you want to get used stuff. But if you want to get new stuff, for sure, there's a guitar center. Um, on the West Coast, we have plenty of guitar centers. On the East Coast, I know there's also Sam Ash music stores. And there's plenty other music stores out there. I'm not going to be the one accused of getting you sick. So, I'm going to show you some online. Now, what I'm going to show you is... American Musical Supply. You guys probably haven't even heard of it. I'm about to put you on real quick. Let me put you on real quick. But look, before I put you on, I need you to do something. Can you do it for your boy? I need you to subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hit the notification bell so every time I drop a video, you already know it's coming. You already know. You gotta know one thing first. You need a computer. You gotta have, whether that's a laptop or a desktop, you need a computer that has at least four gigabytes of RAM so that you can hold your software. And you need about 250 gigabytes at least of hard drive space. So um, whether it's a 32-bit computer or a 64-bit computer, so that's the first thing you need to focus on is getting your computer right. Now, when it comes down to processor, you need to get at least an i5 core, and that's being nice. I recommend getting something like an i7 processor or above. Um, definitely like an eighth generation or above um, but use what you can afford just make sure that you have at least those specs so once you got your computer situation all straightened out the first thing you got to decide is which program do you want to use now here's American Musical Supply right here and this is my joint what I love about American Musical Supply is that you can make payments even if you can't afford what you're trying to get um, some of their stuff is no credit check the more expensive stuff is a credit check but you can make payments and there's no interest rates no matter how long you take to pay it there's no interest rates come on. but don't rob these guys don't rob these guys keep them around for people like me all right so you're going to need to decide which software you want to use so i'm gonna just go up here and i'm gonna type in recording software and right here music recording software obviously studio one's a top seller and um what you're looking for is music production software. So let's click that. And you can see all, you can see you are eight payments if you want Pro Tools um, of $74. If you want Studio One, six payments of 66 bucks, FL Studio. So you gotta pick which software that you rocking with, all right? And stay true to that software. So pick you a software. Next, you gotta get a USB audio interface. And USB is a lot simpler than trying to get like MIDI audio interface, Thunderbolt audio interface. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. USB audio interface. And they come just as powerful. So USB audio interfaces. They come just as powerful as the other audio interfaces. And here they are right here. You can see that you can make payments or you can just pay it off. Focus right. Presonus recording bundle. See, if you get this bundle right here, I'm going to just click it. You get, for 300 bucks, you get a mic, you get an audio interface with two inputs for mics, you get the uh, speakers, which is the monitors, uh, you get the software, but you only get Studio One artists, you don't get Pro. Like, you guys been watching me doing tutorials on Pro. Uh, so, yeah, I mean... This is a good bundle deal, though. I mean, you just got to buy the software. You got to buy the... Uh, but you can get an upgrade from artist to pro. It's going to be a little bit less than just buying pro straight out. All right. Moving forward. Let's go. And you can see all these other ones. Again, it depends on your budget. You can make payments or you could just buy it out. They have everyone in here. So go to American Musical Supply and check that out. The next thing you're gonna need is a condenser microphone, not no regular USB microphone. So let's type that in, a condenser mic. A condenser mic is a, a recording mic. All right, a condenser mic. And this is gonna go into your audio interface, which you're gonna need a microphone cable too. So right here, let's just go to a large diaphragm. You can go to small ones, but large diaphragm is what everyone's using. Um, 
and this is by far what i've heard the best microphone on the planet um for people like us that could afford microphones even actually like for drake's producer and stuff like that obviously they have a lot more money so they're using more expensive ones but this is the hottest thing for a home studio um I don't even have it. I could afford it, but I just I just don't have it. And it just goes to show, you just need a condenser. Like, this microphone is it's my baby right here. Um, same thing with my audio interface. Like, it's my baby. So, you don't need to spend a whole lot of money there. Like, you know what I mean? You don't, you don't need that. But uh, you can check them out. Any microphone that you want to choose, just make sure it's a condenser, all right? Don't forget you need that microphone cord. While we're talking about microphones, you need a microphone stand. So get you a microphone stand, whether that's something like this that's on a table or um, just like a stand from the ground. So mic stand, obviously you see them right here and you can pick one. Also um, a shock mount for your microphone, shock mounts or a microphone clip. This is a microphone clip. Um, but shock mounts that holds it in place so it don't move and like have vibrations when you're recording because you know when you're recording you're like and you're shaking the microphone so you don't want that it's going to be in your recordings which brings me to my next point you need a pop filter so these are the microphone clips and shock mounts look that up could also you can make payments on every anything um you need a um, pop filter which is this red thing right here that you see and they're real cheap um, you can get stuff from Offer Up. You can get stuff from Guitar Center, Sam Ash, um, anywhere. I'm just showing you American Musical Supply because I ain't trying to get y'all sick. You feel me? Um, and because that's where I shop. So, all right. But you can shop anywhere. You just need these things. So, microphone pop filters. You just want to pick one that you like. Don't get just like an on stage one because you don't have an on stage microphone. You have a condenser. So, you see like 11 bucks so no excuse not to have a pop filter so you don't be like right so that's what it's here for um next you're going to need some headphones some studio headphones not not these not these little i a hey, when i first got started i tried which now apple they changed their little thing so it ain't even a real jack but um you want to get studio headphones. So, oops, studio headphones. So, I mean, what if I just click it? There they go. A whole bunch of studio headphones. As you can see, $49.99 or $49. <laughs> ah, $29. Uh, and yeah, you can make payments on these. I didn't even buy these from American Musical Supply, honestly. I bought these from some website in China. Uh, it was like 20 bucks. So just get them where you can. But speaking of headphones, you need a little jack like this. See, this little gold, I call it the gold piece, but I think it's called a quarter inch headphone jack. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys know. Um, but yeah, you gotta have this because when you stick your headphones into there, bam. So that's what you need. Um, otherwise, it will your headphones will not fit. Those. Otherwise, your headphones will not fit because uh, it will not take this at all. For real, you have to have this quarter inch thing. All right, I'm plugged back in. So we got headphones. Now you need some speakers. You need some studio monitors, right? Now I'd probably say studio monitors probably cost uh, the most if you're uh, if you just have to get them. Uh, studio monitors. Um, so there's active powered ones. There's active uh, powered subwoofers. Um, but we just want some monitors. If you want to get the subwoofers, if you want it, that's cool. But you're also going to need some monitor stands unless you have some sort of platform where you can set it on. So I, I really just said platform, like. Right? But yeah, active. This is what you're going to want to get, and you can make payments again. Um, but here they are. Now you're going to find deals though, because I found deals. You just got to catch them at the right time. So. A lot of times it's just one that you're getting 
unless you see them in a pair like that. So make sure that you notice whether they're a pair or whether, you know what I'm saying, it just comes as one because you got to buy both. So I will say this, if you're on a budget and you can only afford one, just get you one and then get the next one later. So you can have something to listen to yourself instead of out of your laptop, out of your computer because it's going to lie to you. Believe it or not, with everything I just showed you, you have a home studio. Like if you got everything that I, like you got a pretty nice one, obviously you're, you're going to need a desk if you don't have a desk, but I'm not going to include that because I'm just talking about musical equipment. So you guys could click off this video. If you're done, like if you got everything you needed, go ahead and order and you're good. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for watching. But if you're a producer or an artist who wants to make their own beats too, I'm going to give you something that's optional that I recommend you get. Matter of fact, if you're a producer, this isn't even optional. What you're going to need is a USB keyboard and not a MIDI one. You, I mean, these are called MIDIs, but there's difference between a MIDI cord and a USB cord. So we want a USB. I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. USB keyboard. I'm not even sure if it'll show up like that, but right there, you all these are USB keyboards and they're a lot less expensive. Um, basically, the sounds that you get from your software um, these are going to trigger those sounds on the keyboard. So you don't need a keyboard like a real keyboard that has like sounds built in it. That's not how it works when you're with a studio. You're just like triggering the computer sounds from your software. So they obviously are really affordable. It just depends how many keys you want. So 25 keys, 49 keys, 49 is the standard, 61. So uh, it's totally up to you what you want to get on there and a lot of these so this is optional too a lot of these keyboards have like let me just click a random one has uh beat pads on them so you don't have to buy a beat machine you could just do it all right there on the keyboard so even if you don't want to buy a beat pad or a keyboard with the beat pads on them you can use your keys to make the beats to make the drums too so just having a usb keyboard just that's what you need for sure for sure another optional thing that you can get is some sound panels some foam uh i recommend going on amazon to get those uh don't go to wish because of this pandemic that we're living in it's going to take your stuff forever even though it's cheap it's just going to take your stuff forever or it might not even come from china so uh just i recommend just doing somewhere american so it could come right when you order it you know it's going to be two day shipping um but sound panels for sure and then the last thing that's optional is a shield, a microphone shield. And I'm going to show you what mine looks like. So I have several shields, but this is, I bought this for like 10 bucks. I can't even remember. No, I bought this from the homie at Guitar Center. You know, I think he told me he paid like 25 or something like that. But you could definitely, it's a Sterling um, UMS. And then I have like a bigger one that I spent like 90 on. But... I said it's optional. I'm not even using it right now, but you would clip that to your microphone stand and it's supposed to block out. It's like being in a booth, but I have a booth, so I'm not really tripping on it. It's just, it's good for sound protection. You just make sure that you're not getting that reverb coming out. You know what I'm saying? So it's lit, it's lit. Everything I mentioned to you is USB. So it's just gonna be easy as plugging it in. And as far as your software, you're just gonna pay for it. They're gonna email you like some sort of download code and activation code. You just download it from your email. Uh, it's just simple downloads and just USB plugging in and you're set up. Like keep watching tutorials. Every recording software has tutorials on it as a rule, but you can also subscribe. You know what I'm saying? If you have subscribed, I, like, I can help you. I give you the plug, I give you the sauce. Yeah, there's it's not just American Musical Supply. There's also Sweetwater. Give it a try. Hey, you can hit up your homie. You can hit up some producers. You know, anyone trying to sell some equipment. Just make sure it's compatible. Make sure it's not too old. You want to make sure that your USB device can be read in your computer. You don't want nothing that's, you know what I'm saying? Old school, right? We're not on A tracks no more. As far as like, if you're questioning certain things, like what about a fader? What like what about a mixing board? You don't need it every software has that built in now if you want it go ahead and get it all those other things it's just going to be extra but if this is your first time setting up a home studio hey hey you, know what I'm saying, man? you can thank me later you can thank me now or you can thank me later you know what I'm oh no you know what I'm look straight up i want to say thank you guys for watching my videos man appreciate the support for a
let's recap. So get you your computer or laptop with at least four gigabytes of RAM, 250 gigabytes of hard drive space, and at least an i5 core processor. It don't matter, 32-bit, 64-bit. Second, you need you a recording software. And I don't care, even though I'm a big Studio One user, I'm not gonna knock any other software that you choose to use. Next, you wanna make sure that you get a USB audio interface, get you a condenser microphone, not no USB, not no little stage dynamic microphone, get you a condenser with a stand, with a pop filter, and with a shock mount. Those are optional, but I recommend you do it. You feel me? It's like a highly recommended thing for you to do. Get you some studio headphones right here. Right here. Get you some studio monitors. I got two, but you see one. You know what I'm saying? So what you want? One? You want two? Uh, you can always get one later for those of you guys who are on a budget. Bro, if you make beats, get you a USB keyboard. Even though on FL Studio, like you can use your actual keyboard as a keyboard like i started off on fl and that was like fun and i could pencil in notes it's lit um you can pencil in notes on studio one and most other softwares but you can't use a keyboard like a keyboard it's lit um so shout out fl man i miss y'all for that i did a lot of growing though definitely make sure that keyboard is usb okay optional sound panels optional shield it's real easy to connect these cables just stick them in the back of your computer usb back yo <laughs> Where to buy, American Musical Supply, Amazon, OfferUp, Craigslist, uh, Guitar Center, Sam Ash, your homie, anybody that does music, anywhere that you could find musical equipment, that's where you're shopping. Okay, so what you finna do? What you finna do about it? You finna, you finna get you a studio? All right, all right, all right man, all right, get you a studio then. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to keep it moving, man. Hey, smash that like button for the algorithm. Hit the notification bell if you already subscribed. Make sure that you're catching up with your boy. Uh, the algorithm's going to help somebody else. You feel me? So, hey, you ain't the only one getting a home studio for the first time. Somebody else is trying to get that. So, let's help them out. You feel me? It's your boy, Z-Fly. I'm about to get up out of here, man. Peace. HVH on the beat, boy. Yeah, I just made this YouTube and it's popping. Dropping content weekly, I ain't stopping. Johnsville, say my name, run it up, 100k.